Because I think a lot of people, when they think about NASA, they think of things like the Mars rovers. They think of the Artemis mission that just uh, successfully sent the Orion capsule around the moon and it splashed down over the weekend as our next step in sending humans back to the moon. But NASA also does a lot to help understand our home planet right here on Earth. This is NASA's Earth fleet of satellites. And across all of these missions, NASA's had a longstanding legacy of expertise and excellence in delivering global remote sensing for an array of scientific applications. And the capabilities of these satellites have inspired companies to do similar things before, but we couldn't do any of this if we weren't building on top of the legacy that NASA had. And one of the main pieces of the NASA Earth observation legacy is the Landsat program, which is hitting its 50 year mark of observing our home planet. If you're not familiar with Landsat, it's been a series of satellites that have launched over the past 50 years that have imaged the whole world at uh, varying cadences. Now it images the whole world about once every 16 days. And so you get this beautiful long time series to watch change. And NASA has this website called um, Vital Signs of Change, where you can actually look at some examples over different time periods from Landsat. So for example, I'm sure you've all seen on the news that Mauna Loa in Hawaii is erupting. So here's their um, before view at night from Landsat on October 29th of this year. Then we can slide over for the view of the eruptions at night from November 28th of this year. So quite a dramatic change. Thank you.